What's up truck drivers? Welcome back to the GMP Trucking YouTube channel. I'm Trucker Jim and today I'm going to be sharing with you basics on the Omnitrack system. This is the newest IVG which is a 7 inch touch screen. Some of you may have the older version of this in your truck but the basic operation is the same. And this version you do have a home button so no matter where you're at if you press it it takes you back to the home screen which is where we're at and then you've got volume controls and brightness controls uh, right there beside the home button. But what we're going to talk about today is the login, the hours of service and messages. To log in when when you first get to your truck, you'll need to put in your driver ID and password. Your password is also your driver ID. When you do that, you're going to have the option of what duty status you're going to go to. We will go to off duty. So now that I'm logged in, instead of having the time, it has my current hours of service available. Okay, so we're logged in. So we'll hit the home button and this goes to the home page. Other than logging in and logging out, you really don't use the driver login button. But hours of service and messaging you will use every day. Let's take a look at hours of service. You have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. Now you can turn the volume down, which is what we're going to do. The status screen is a very helpful tool that gives a lot of information, such as your current duty status, how long you've been in that duty status, what time that duty status started, and your mileage for the day. So this is something you will be referring to often. Now there are tabs at the tops. Ones you will use the most is summaries. That keeps up with all of your clocks, your 70 hour clock. Uh, the eight hour clock, you know, that starts when your clock starts and does not reset again until after a 30 minute break. And then of course you've got your drive and your 14 hour clock. You will look at these regularly. The eight day tab keeps up with the last eight days. Your miles for the day, your driving time, and your own duty time. Uh, the combination of this is how much was subtracted from your 70 for that particular day. Another tab that you will use is Certify. On the older version, it was called Verify, but that's just verifying and certifying your logs. This is important to do on at least a bi-daily basis because that qualifies you for per diem if you're an over-the-road trucker. Now, if you need to change a duty status, you'll go right here to Change. And this has a list of all the duty statuses. You can't put yourself in drive, but if you start driving, the truck will automatically do it because this is also an ELD, which will keep up with all of your logs. Um, the next is messages. Now it's broken down into three different tabs. This is just like your email, guys. It's inbox, outbox, compose. This is a list of all the messages which you'll want to delete these often because they kind of get out of hand and it'll ask you for confirmation of the delete. And as far as the ones it will delete are the ones you've opened. So fuel solutions and some of these that I have not opened, they're still there and you have to delete them manually. The outbox is a list of everything that's been sent from your unit. Uh, your arrived macros, your loaded macros, you can refer back to this outbox when you're setting up your request for detention pay or anytime you need the time of anything. Each time a macro is done is time stamped and you can find that in the outbox. Compose is where you will do all of your macros. Uh, the freeform message which is zero zero as far as macro but there's also uh, its own button here and that will allow you to just type a basic message and when you do that a keyboard pops up this is all touch screen and over in the right hand corner you can make the keyboard go down over in the left hand corner makes the keyboard go up but that's for typing all of your messages if you need to back up just cancel it but you know you arrived at shipper all of these there these are a list of all the macros here at GNP there'll be an upcoming video that will be discussing all the important macros well, all right, drivers, I hope that helps with your basic understanding of the OmniTrack system. What we showed in this video is how to log in, how to review all of your hours of service information, and also access your macros, review all of your messages, all of that. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to drop them below in the comments. And everyone, 
be safe out there and we will see you in the next video.